kidnap her once a uh, gambling culture, it helped to promote a league's push to popularize and benefit from sports, uh, betting, send mixed signals. Over the next several days, the National Football League's players, coaches, fans, and executives will gather for an event that was virtually unsinkable just 10 years ago. The Super Bowl in Las Vegas, the gambling capital of the United States. Since the Supreme Court struck down in 2018 a federal law that effectively banned sports betting outside Nevada, a prohibition once backed by the NFL's commissioner, Roger, the NFL, has embraced the gambling industry. It has forged partnerships reportedly worth nearly $1 billion over five years with sports betting companies and permitted the sports book to operate <laughs> inside one of its uh, stadiums. Now, it even has a team <coughs> in Las Vegas which the league shunned for decades because any affiliation was seen as a threat to the integrity of the game. Yet the embedding of sports gambling so quickly into the culture of the league has resulted in jarring contradiction. The NFL is pushing to popularize and benefit from sports betting while still guarding against the potential pitfalls that it long condemned.